guys. So my dad made something and we're going to look. Now before we do, let us introduce dad again one more time. Daddy! Everybody know you see already, so just say hi. <laughs> Anyways, let us look. Welcome to my dad's creation. I do that. Nice. I want next door again. <laughs> they locked me up. But anyways, I can't even reach you there. Too fast. Yeah. This is my house, people. Cause they locked me up in here. Help! But this is too small. <laughs> what? This is too small for me. Can't move in there. <laughs> I'm showing everybody how easy Thank you. Are. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. So basically, what you just saw was, um, so my mom found this chicken. Right, the chicken kept um, laying on our veranda, chicken out the yard, and whatever. So we took off the egg, but I'm fine. Other place go. So the place that he found was in our backyard. Right, so when are we actual like we but veranda this so yeah so what we did was to just feed it give it water and since it not have no owner we want it so we made a cube for it so yes I think the babe the chicks are supposed to hatch tomorrow so it is right on time I'm gonna know them some if I mom Send me fuck. Well, I might not stress me no. Yeah. Where are you? It's down here, so. Which house side? This? I'm not sitting on bamboo. No, no, me, I look fine. Oh, me, I look for a fat sitting. <laughs> she said, me fat. But think I said, big me, I look fine. No, sir. As I was saying, so that we made, my dad made a cup for it. So that's what I just, you just saw. Yeah. So. I'll update you guys tomorrow when them hatch because me want to swim time I'm going to take them up. Wee! Alright, guys, so earlier I did show you guys that mommy teeth people them chicken. I'm putting a cub. But, anyways, so yes, I did tell you that my dad was building a cub and you know, I gave you all the backstory and whatever. So it ended up that the chicken only had one chick, one. So we end up had to buy chickens. So I'm gonna show you them now. Mama, what are So this is the chicken, as you guys saw the last time. And the chick, so cute. And let me show you her. Then that's just some feeding us. All the water they were throwing. So these are the other chickens. There you go. So there they are. Mommy's gonna feed them. Hmm? I don't want nobody going there. That's why. But my hand can knock you. Sorry, let me help you out. Hold this. Hold this. Alright guys, so this little sit down session, as you guys can see from the title, is going to be about my anxiety and you know how it affected me during this COVID time. Basically, my anxiety is me feeling chest tighten up and you know start to panic for no reason at all. So yes, that's my anxiety. So 
story time. Basically, this is a story time. Just to tell you what did happen at the beginning of all this corona business. Everybody was agitated. Um, they were, you know, just flustered. So yes, that feeling came on to me. So anyways, for the first two weeks, um, I was um, at home. As in, for the first two weeks, the two weeks, so then I'm going to try out to see if, you know, there will be any more cases. Where somebody could tell us that the first confirmed case, um, it was from Clarendon or something like so. Or somewhere near Clarendon. So me start freak out. So my anxiety, um, it affected me very, very badly because um, my chest started tightening up. Me start fret about everything and anybody will have anxiety you know so when stress start tight up you feel like you did feel like you can't breathe and worse when they talk about the symptoms of corona and you know that you're going to have shorter breath make you start even fret worse and to make it even worse i am not necessarily troubled by sinus that much however because me and my stupid self, but me uh, cleanse everywhere. My spread on the old place with Lysol, wipe down everywhere, everything. And you know, this is not good for persons with sinus. Minimum wasn't my sinus that bad. It infected my sinus. So I had my, nos my nostrils were swollen, as in, um, what do you call it? I don't know what I'm calling something up in your nose. It was swollen. And like I couldn't breathe, I felt like I was having flu. You know that make it worse. Cause no chest tighten up. I feel like me a flu. So, anyways, yeah. That was happening with my anxiety at the time. It it it, it, it did rough. Like everything didn't let me from life right. Yep. You know? Yeah. So um that was the beginning of it all um after a while i went to the doctor them tell me yeah, that happened so yeah, it my sinus is affected i got medication um they gave me a what do you call it like a allergy pill yeah so i got an allergy pill i know i had allergies but i always see it in my eyes never get it nowhere else anyways so basically i got the allergy pills i've been taking them ever since um, so the feeling most times is gone, but it was still happening like um, For the most part it was happening like once night time come My chest start tightening up I don't know why but anyways, I think it's my anxiety. I don't know plus um, The main thing why I was so flustered and worried everybody in you know, one house here have underlying condition yeah it will away so you can imagine me start fret because me not fret for myself alone you know me fret for me my, me myself mother and father everybody me just start fret for everybody so everybody fret means to pay me alone them not fret me so i managed to cope with my anxiety um after i went to the doctor and i got those pills and realized that, oh it's not corona i kind of calmed down and say you know this too shall pass and i started to put in my head say you know why worry why am i worrying even though i'm um um everybody knows i'm a christian right and the bible so we're not supposed to worry yet still i'm here worrying and may i say but i don't fear this so i try to tell that um tell myself that and use that to help you know to combat this um, anxiety also I use like every night when I'm going to my bed I can't sleep I couldn't sleep actually without watching like a video or something so I normally just let the YouTube video run that was I actually started to use that as a coping mechanism from like two summers ago but um, I don't have to use it every night so I guess I have been training myself well because one time gone, my kuna sleep not tall because things are just around through my head because of my anxiety and whatever. 
and it wouldn't allow me to sleep but if I'm watching a video I'm concentrating on the video I'm not thinking as much so it kind of makes me go to sleep so yeah that's one thing I used to cope um, videos I also use music to cope so I would actually put in a music think about the music listen to the music you know and it kind of makes me fall asleep easier it kind of calms you down so if it's in the daytime and you know start to get flustered listen to some music you know rock out to the music and all of that uh, yeah, so basically that is my whole experience with my anxiety during this corona time. It was terrible at first. It is not so bad now. Not gonna lie, it's not completely gone. It's not gonna ever completely gone. I don't think so. But anyways, I'm trying to cope with it. I'm trying to do my best to cope with it. So yeah. And I know you alone. You know, those I usually think say... I'm me alone have anxiety and I just me tan so I just all me worry and tan because everybody uh, well everybody in my household know that me worry about anything everything me we walk through this house at night time and try every single door and I will not feel comfortable if me not do it ask me sister she will tell you me we walk to our door three four times for the night lock the door yeah, I just saw me steer. I don't know why. And I met myself. Anyways, so yes, just want to tell you guys out there that have anxiety, you might have anxiety and all of that. Um, you're not alone. There's a lot of persons um that I know with anxiety, and it's this time that actually helped me to really see that. You know? So you're not alone. Really? No! Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> mm. One. Daddy can be still calling me. So you know my pass. Ready. Me can't feel me in a piece because of them. <laughs> Oh, as I was saying, um, there are lots of YouTubers I know with anxiety, and I did not know they had anxiety this bad until Corona time, because I've heard Alicia talk about it, Alicia Marie Remy. These are the persons I watch every day, and I did not necessarily know they had anxiety this bad, like I do. Them look like them even have it worse than I do, and if they're coping with it, I think we all can, you know? So I'm coping, they're coping, you can cope. If you have anxiety, you know, comment down below. Let me know. You're not alone. I don't want to know I'm not alone either. So comment down below. Let me know. Let me know how, um, if you had an anxiety attack at the beginning of this whole pandemic. And how you coped with it. What did you do? And so on. If these tips that I've given you to cope with your anxiety help you, please let me know in the comments down below so I can know, you know, I'm helping out somebody, you know. So yes, guys. Um, yeah, so this is the end of my little talk sessions. If you guys are enjoying the talk sessions, let me know. So yes, um, this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys and I will see you.